All right, let's start the new shop tour. This is looking out through the front windows. We've got a, oops, sorry. We've got a, yeah, kind of a too high receptionist desk, I guess. Over in the left corner up there, it'd be the restroom utility room. And then, uh, over here, we got an office that, because this stupid desk is in the way, we really can't fit any desks into. So, I don't know what we're going to do there. <laughs> We'd have to bring a desk, like an Ikea desk in there, in a box, and assemble it in there, if we want to bring one in. Uh, over in that corner is a another small office or storage room in the corner. And then over behind that pole is another long office that goes yeah, about, yeah, I don't know, maybe about to here, about to this door. And um, there's a doorway to the outside in that office, which I got to replace the door. We got to do some drywall work in here. I need to... Uh, do something with the ceiling get rid of this texture and as far as these lights go I either need to find the light switch or the breaker or every one of these damn bulbs just doesn't work it's one of those three so I'm but I'm betting I'm betting they don't work <laughs> Um, but I'd like to replace these with LEDs anyway. Get rid of the textured ceiling. Replace these with LEDs. Paint the walls a decent color. Get rid of that, whatever display that is over there. Or modify it and hang some boat stuff up in it. Um, this wall or maybe paint some nifty color got some weird crown molding up there that's falling down like I said this place hasn't been used in like eight years um, put some kind of floor coating down on it or something it's nice that it's got power outlets on all these poles anyway let's go into the next room cruise out here on my office chair here's a nice little room crappy fluorescent lighting drywall wall that's never been painted old 70s style paneling and uh, we need to widen up these doors too we need to take these and make them like nine foot wide and we'll have to move a couple outlets for that I want them white nine foot wide so that I could take a boat from the back of the building all the way up and put it into front of the building if I wanted to. So there's that. Um, I haven't decided exactly what room it's going to be what, but I figure since the spray booth is all the way at the back of the building, then we will start from there with uh, uh, where we spray them up. And then the next room would be lamination. And then for the small boats, this would be, we can assemble them in this room here. And then get the sewing machines and everything, with tables and everything, probably for the front room. And uh, anyway, let's cruise on back to the next room. I don't know if, I guess I might as well just cruise around the whole room. The, yeah these are they used to have an outlet near here where they sold garage doors for construction use <laughs> and that's what these are and I hate that they're brown so those all need painted and uh, 
over the course of eight years, condensation and stuff has rusted the ones on the ceiling. And uh, while a lot of the lights on the ceiling work, I do want to change all these out for LED ones. Um, it's raining today, so thankfully, I'm not seeing any leaks on the ground. Um, this door here, you can see it was already wide, wide enough, like for nine feet. Um, we just need to put it back to nine feet or whatever it is. Yeah, let's keep it rolling. We. I need to get some rollerblade wheels for this office chair. Of course, there's some water piping that has busted over the years. I'm going to replace that all with uh, some PEX, some like the blue PEX, and then all along the one wall, we'll run a line and maybe put an eyewear station in each room. And. Uh, that way, in case something happens. All right. Back here, it's dark. Okay. Let me find the breaker. It's one of these. There it is. This room has light. And that's the rear door of the building, side door. And then there's a second room that goes all the way up to the one office, which would be like a storage room. And this little bit of hallway where we can back a boat in if we want. Um, I'm actually thinking about putting a doorway in from one of the rooms up front. So where as we pull a boat out of the spray booth, put it in lamination, and then in assembly, we can bring stuff from a upholstery into assembly to put it in the boat, and then run it through the an entryway through the hall, and into here, bring it out here, and roll it right out the door. So make it a a big circle. I think that would be the way to go. Now let's go over here to the spray booth. Again, more drywall. This isn't the boost, but we're gonna put a put our compressor right there. Now the spray booth, there are no working lights yet. I assume, since there is breakers for them over there, I assume these are burnt out. But uh, we stashed a couple molds in them in here for right now, just to get them out of the way. Stuck the apple mold over here and the mold for the, the three-wheeler just to get it out of the way. But we're going to drag that back over here pretty soon and shoot a few metal flake three-wheelers bodies. And I've got an extra green hull that we're going to use here pretty soon. Um, I just brought it over here to get it out of the way while we're working on some other ones. Over here is where the exhaust fan goes, but uh, there is no exhaust fan in it. And uh, what I need to do here is the drop ceiling is damaged. See, take a look at this. All right, all that's boogered up. I either need to get this repaired or replaced. Either one I don't care. And I want to replace all these fluorescent lights with those LED panels. You know what I'm talking about? The I don't know if you've seen them. And I also want to put some of the LED panels on the wall. I want to get a ton of light in here where 
you almost got to wear glasses. And then we put some protective layers over them. And uh, anyway, this is the, basically this is the uh, new building. If you look out, when I open that back door, you can look over and see the other shop. But uh, a little bit of work. She ain't perfect. Like I said, we've been it's been sitting for like eight years. So anyway, hey, this is what we got going. We got a lot of work to do, and uh, but I think for the mini boats, this is going to be perfect, and. We're going to be able to work on some of the bigger boats, like the 16, the 21, and a 24 in the back shop. Anyway, I know this has been a, one of my longer videos, but if you've made it this far, I really thank you for watching. Until next time.